Hi there. If you've been watching some of my previous videos, then possibly you've seen me work with this robot here. This is Cooper's the STEM 6-in-1 robot from Roboblock. After that one, I then went on to produce a video on this, and this is Q-Dino, obviously also from Roboblock. You can tell from the green anodized aluminium. And in this video, I'm going to be taking a closer look at this guy, and this is Q-Scout. Let's take a look at the unboxing. If you've seen me unbox any other Roboblock robots, then it'll be no surprise to you how well packaged everything is, and just how nice the box looks itself. Inside it, there's the manual with information about QScout, as well as the build instructions. But I always prefer to use the Roboblock app when building, so that I can zoom into the diagrams. Anyway, inside the first level of the box, you'll find the QMind microcontroller, as well as two sensors. An ultrasonic sensor, which allows QScout to avoid any objects around it, and a line following sensor which allows it to follow a black line on a lighter background. In the next level we've got some metal parts as well as the wheels and motors that allow QScout to get from place to place. Finally in the third level there's the box with everything else from the screwdriver that you'll use to put it together to the nuts, bolts, connecting cables and battery pack. In case you're wondering it'll take six AA batteries which are the only thing not included in the kit. So, once you've laid everything out in front of you and opened up all those tiny little bags, it's time to get building. There are far less parts in the Q-Scout kit when compared to Cooper's and Q-Dino, so it's a much quicker build. Although, if you hadn't realised, this part has been sped up. Only slightly though. Once you're done, it should look like this. On the face of it, it looks like Cooper's has more build options, since it's a 6-in-1 robot. Although, with the addition of these optional expansion packs, QScout actually has twice the number of options, a whopping 12. Of course, you can use the parts to design your own robot, but it's great to have so many options and all with their own build instructions. And now, all we have to do is test QScout to see that it's working. Look out for my video on upgrading QScout with the expansion packs and additional sensors. And it'll also make an appearance in my video about using robots in the STEM club. Until next time, We'll see you later.